Are you planning a wedding or somebody who does wedding planning? Well, this week I'm gonna break down four lessons that you can learn from the Netflix's wedding coach, both as a planner and if you're a couple trying to DIY it. And honestly, if you're someone who just works in events, not wedding related at all, these four lessons really can also apply to you. So stick around. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and before we get started, I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I am wearing one of my favorite shirts right now. These are baozi, which are buns in China that I love to eat. Uh, it's from Pinion Press. I'll link below because I'm obsessed with it. But fun fact, I used to live in China before I moved to Seattle, so I also speak Mandarin Chinese. But anyway, let's get back into the video. Now I promise there aren't any spoilers in what I'm about to say with my four key takeaways, but I do think it is fun. I, I will binge watch a little bit of reality TV every so often. And as event professionals, I just love watching TV shows about other events. I think Say Yes to the Dress is hilarious, Four Weddings from TLC, anything about it because it is both, for me it's part research because I love seeing what other people do, but I then also love to see like the Hollywood interpretation of events. But anyway, four key takeaways from what Jamie Lee is doing as the wedding coach in the Netflix series, Wedding Coach. All right, so if, before I jump into my four lessons that I think are key takeaways from the Netflix TV show, The Wedding Coach, I do wanna let you know the synopsis of it, because if you're someone who hasn't watched it yet, it's all about a former bride and forever comedian, Jamie Lee, who shares her irreverent yet practical tips and tricks for wedding planning. And she comes and helps these couples through their wedding planning process. So my first one is family dynamics are complicated, especially when it comes to weddings. There is this big societal pressure on any couple that gets married about what their wedding is supposed to look like. And so with that, there comes family obligations of certain family members that maybe have thought what you were gonna do would be a little different. And so one of the things that I liked from this was just prepping the couple, if you're a couple or a planner, and just understanding that complicated family dynamics is normal. Uh, I think that normalizes it on the show almost every single episode. You can see there's some form of complicated family dynamic. Nobody's perfect. And I think that really is what I want to come down to is perfection is unattainable in a wedding with having the perfect family that perfectly wants everything that you want as the couple. So just keep that in mind. You're not alone. It's totally normal. And if you're a planner, be prepared to kind of deal with that because some of that, those complicated elements will affect the planning process. And this is something that I say wedding planning is so similar to regular event planning, except it's more emotional because there are those family ties. There is that this is a once in a lifetime experience stress behind it. So keep that in mind. Another big role that Jamie plays in this TV in the TV show, The Wedding Coach, is that she is really kind of just a like a stress relief tool for the couple. What kind of I kept coming back to is a lot of these couples or one member of the couple felt really alone, felt alienated, felt like they had to take on all of the stress and the responsibility of creating this perfect wedding day. And so really what she is, is she's just kind of like normalizes that it's okay to be stressed. It's normal to not have everything together all the time. And so that's something that I think is really key as event professionals for us to make sure that both with couples for weddings and with clients that we are being that sounding board to help them know that they're not alone in all of this. And if you're a couple thinking about getting a wedding planner or a day of coordinator or anything, I will promise you that if you find the right one, meaning their personality fits what you're looking for, because um, you're going to spend a lot of time with them, even just on the event day, they can be that exact same role as a wedding coach. I've now seen a couple people coming out as wedding coaches, so you could definitely do that, but just know that there are people to help you and it is seen in the show. I feel like it just epitomizes how you can have friends, you can have family, you can have people who are there for you, but you might still also need an additional person who really knows what you're going through. And Jamie Lee's not like a trained event professional. She just got married and so that's where she's coming from with this advice and so I think she's really helpful to the couples but I also see this as a service that maybe a lot of people don't realize that wedding planners and coordinators and event planners and coordinators also serve I can't tell you the number of times with even my corporate clients like people are just relieved to have somebody else steer the ship someone else to help them make decisions and take that stress off of them so remember you're not alone but also know that there is a role out there of someone who can help you take your stress away if you're a couple planning your wedding. And this next one I think is just so key. It's that day of troubleshooting is needed. 
I love the B-roll that they have of Jamie, and then every episode she invites a different comedian, and they're always running around on the day of trying to, like, last minute fix things, set up things, troubleshoot something. Like, one couple wanted to arrive in, like, a canoe down a little river <laughs> to get to the altar, and they're, like, helping her actually get in the canoe because she didn't realize she didn't test it in her dress to see if she actually could sit down in the canoe. And just uh, what I love is it really embodies for anybody who's never been married or never even gone to a wedding before. It, I think it helps you see some of the behind the scenes that need to happen. I do laugh at the time lapses a couple episodes. They're like, we have so much to do in only two hours. And then there's like way more footage in the episode before the wedding starts. So I can't tell if they're just trying to create drama for the reality show or if they legitimately only have an hour or two because... I think one episode, the bride was still setting things up an hour before her wedding and then at her wedding looked picture perfect. So I doubt that she got all her hair and makeup and everything done in that amount of time. But, you know, I won't judge. Maybe some people are super quick. Um, but I just think it's interesting and a helpful lens for you if you are a planner or you're thinking about going into wedding planning, event planning, or even if you're just getting married and you're trying to figure out if you actually need extra hands and just knowing who would be that role. One of my favorite things that I do with friends who are getting married is I often will just say, hey, just start scenario planning. Like who's gonna grab your gifts at the end of the night? Who's gonna help you set up your family photos at the reception? Who's gonna move your flowers from the ceremony to the reception? And sometimes that can be the venue person. Sometimes that could be friends and family, but just having that again, conversation of who would be doing some of that stuff will help you in the moment so that you don't have to. Because if you're the couple really on your wedding day, like you should be focused on getting married because that's a lot of pressure and also a lot of fun, but uh, you're planning this huge party and I wanna make sure that you can enjoy it. And my last fourth takeaway from watching Netflix Wedding Coach, and this is something that just resonates with me as an event professional, is so much of what Jamie's doing with the couples is trying to encourage them to like remember their why. Why are they getting married? Why are they in love? Why are they spending all this time and money to throw a celebration? And like really distance themselves from the shoulds. Because I think so much of what we see on Instagram, on Pinterest, on any social media platform, you're seeing like the perfect, filtered, gorgeous side of weddings. And so I think some people get so bogged down by all these little details. And she is a helpful kind of third party to come in and tell them to like take things out. I mean, one couple had a bunch of like backyard games to entertain people and it was like too much, just too many things. So it was like remove a couple and that just like instantly helped them reduce some stress. So. I think that's something that's super powerful from this show. If you are, again, getting married or you're an event planner just trying to figure out like other ways to approach your clients and make their day less stressful, this is like the key. And I do this with my corporate clients, my nonprofits, my sports clients, everybody. It's like just connecting to your why makes that day feel that much more special, that event that much more special. And so like if you're just focusing on your, your, you as the couple, whatever you really value and you make sure those are great. Like maybe you love pictures, focus on that. Make sure you have a great photographer that you love, that you personality get along with. Again, I, I'm going to come back to personality on planners and photographers because you spend a lot of time with them. Caterers, not so much, but like a photographer will be with you all day. And so you want to make sure you actually like that person because you're gonna be hanging out with them all day long. Same thing with a planner. You wanna make sure you like that person. And that's okay that you don't have to like every planner or like every photographer because they're not trying to be liked by everybody. But making sure that you have somebody who's there to help you on your journey of planning your big day. But anyway, what do you think about the Netflix Wedding Coach series? I definitely have could do an a reaction episode to like one whole episode, but I wasn't not gonna do that right now. I just thought if you're looking for something to watch, it is a fun, bingeable reality show on Netflix that is just very lighthearted and it's very interesting as an event professional to watch these things. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and this has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business, Zoom, virtual events, all of the things. And I drop new videos every single Monday, so hit subscribe so you get notified when I drop a new video. Bye, guys.